Let's learn the underhand matador. We're gonna start by getting our base. We got left foot in front, right foot in back. We're nice and wide and deep. We're gonna have that long center cord marked with a black clip, as, long as, uh, as well as that uh, light elastic resistance marked with the black color. We're gonna take the rope in one hand and we're gonna start patterning this technique out. We're gonna uh, practice, again, that idea of this weight shift we've been doing with these skills thus far. We're gonna have our right pinky out. We're gonna perform two beats where we're gonna leave the front hand at the upper shoulder and anchored as we cross the underhand over. And then we're gonna meet them back up on the other side for two more beats. And we're gonna leave the rope side anchored at the top as we bring the free hand out. So it'll look something like this. It is one, two cross, one, two cross, one, two cross, one, two cross. So one rope crosses, one free hand crosses, one rope crosses, one free hand crosses. If everything's feeling good and we're starting to feel how we're getting that weight shift, we can clearly uh, feel that difference in that lead hand coming across. We're gonna go ahead and take both hands on the rope. We're gonna start on this back side. We're gonna perform two beats and we're gonna cross with that right pinky first. So it's one, two cross, one, two cross, one, two right pinky, left pinky, right pinky, left pinky. Do your best in your early phases here to start getting used to this front hand, anchoring at the top shoulder as you're performing the underhand matador. And as we get comfortable and rooted, we feel like everything's coming together. We can always add that little bit of intensity that this rope is designed for to get us some extra work in these rope flow patterns. All right, you got the underhand matador down, let's move on.